Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen, AKA Final Cut Steph, back with more free 4K effects just for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and use designer overlays from Rampant's Film and Light category. And these effects are so crazy popular, they have been downloaded almost 3 million times. So let's have a quick look at the designer overlays before I show you where to download and how to use them. So now that you're excited about adding these amazing overlays to your video content, head on over to 4kfree.com to download them. That's the number four, the letter K, free.com. And once there, all you need to do, you're gonna see a page like this, all you need to do is enter in your name, and then enter in your email address, and then you're gonna say click here to download. And what's gonna happen, if you've been here before and you click this button, it's gonna automatically take you to the free download page. If you have not been here before, you're gonna get an email. And in the email, all you need to do is confirm that you wanted to sign up and then you'll be redirected to the free effects page. And once you're on the free effects page, this is the page you're gonna see, you can scroll through and you'll see all of the products that Rampant is giving away absolutely free. And these are all 4K effects that you can use in your video today. They're not watermarked or anything, so go ahead and download whichever ones you want. Today we're talking about designer overlays right here under the film and light category. And to download these, all you have to do is click where it says, click here to download free effects. You can also click this other button. This is not going to make you purchase anything. It's just gonna give you, show you where you can read more information about the product. If you wanna go see the promo video or just find out other stuff, maybe you wanna buy some more. Click on that button, it's gonna take you and you get to see all the info about designer overlays. Now before I show you how to use these amazing overlays, I first wanna point out that these effects can be used on a Mac or PC. And the second thing I wanna point out is these effects are MOV files and can be used in any editing software that reads ProRes. I will be showing you how to use these effects in Final Cut Pro 10, but feel free to stop this video here, go download the free effects for yourself, and then start editing in the software of your choice. Oh, and if you're looking for more training, head on over to our YouTube channel and see all the training we have, including training for Adobe Premiere, Avid, HitFilm, Resolve, and so many, many more. So let's get started on how to use these effects in Final Cut Pro 10. And the first thing is we have to import our overlays. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my finder here. And here are my overlays. There are four of them in this pack. And these again were absolutely free. They're 4K, they're amazing. So how do I get these free designer overlays into Final Cut? Well, it's really simple. In Final Cut here, I've already created an event and I've named it Free Designer Overlays. If you don't know how to create an event, right click on your mouse, select New Event, and then you can type in your category. Now I already have one. So all we need to do now is pull back up our finder. All we're gonna do is highlight all of our overlays just like this, drag them in and drop them in. And there we go. Now all of our designer overlays are inside of Final Cut and that was super easy. Now how do we add these to our content? Well, down here in my timeline, I have a project I already started. This is a 1080 project. It's a 1920 by 1080 HD project, which is really nice. And my effects are 4K. So it's gonna give us a lot of room to play and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So how do we use these? Well, it's really simple. We come up here, we simply grab a, uh, one of our clips. I'll go ahead and grab this one. We drag it down here and we drop it. Now we can shrink it up to match our clip length just like that, which is really simple. Now we look at our picture. Well, how do we get this to show our video underneath? Well, we're gonna do that by blending. So we're gonna to come to our inspector. We're gonna change the blend mode, which is right here at the top from normal to screen, just like that. And then there is one other thing we wanna do. We wanna come down here to the spatial conform box and we wanna change this from fit to either fill or if we wanna use the 4K size, we're gonna change it to none. I'm gonna keep this on fill for right now so I can show you what happens. We're gonna roll it through. And there we go, we have an instant overlay on top of our footage. It looks amazing. Now, what if this overlay was a little bit too dark, like too bright? What if we wanted to dial it back? That's not a problem. We can go back up to our inspector. We can dial back the opacity and make it exactly what we want. So we have this really nice wedding footage. And now we have this beautiful color designer overlay, which is real light on top of our footage and it looks amazing. I love it, perfect. And it was super simple. Now let's talk about the 4K size. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out of this. I'm gonna show you this zoom out here so I can illustrate what's happening. And if I click on my actual HD clip and I click on the transform uh, button here to show this, you're gonna see here's my frame. And this is my HD frame right here, right? See that? The bounding box right there, that, so that's my clip. If I now clip on, click on my designer overlay and look at it here, now you're also going to see that it's also filling my frame. Well, it's not in the 4K size right now, so let's go back to our spatial conform. 
and change our fill to none. Okay, do you see the difference? So this makes it HD, making it a fill. And then if I click none, it's actually using the native 4K size. Now I have room to move this around. I can move it on the X. I can move it on the Y, right? If I put those back to zero, I can scale it down so I can get the exact position I want. Or I can even rotate it, right? So now the possibilities are endless. So this one clip can now be, if I put it up here, just like this, and I roll it through, it's gonna look completely different. It has just that, the hint of the light coming through the corner versus putting it down here, which has a little bit less color. Okay, so it's gonna give you a completely different look depending on where you position your 4K clip, and that's amazing, okay? So that's where the 4K size comes in. It gives you ultimate reposition ability. You can move it, you can scale it, you can rotate it. You can make this look any like any effect that you want. You can change the opacity and all that stuff. So the possibilities are endless. The creativity that you have is endless. So definitely check that out. Now, let's do it one more time. Let's quickly add these amazing overlays to our second clip. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this back to fit. Here's our second clip. All we need to do is go up, select our overlay, drag it down, drop it, and we can either, we can shrink up our edit to match our overlay. Now all we have to do is go to our inspector, change the blend mode from normal to screen, and then we can change the fit from fill or none. Let's just take it to fill, and let's roll this through. And that looks so great. It adds this really nice touch, it's real light, coming through it looks amazing and it's so subtle and so nice and again if I wanted to change the opacity maybe I wanted to bring it down just a little bit I can do that so that's really awesome it's perfect now you know how to add these beautiful designer overlays to your video content so please give them a try and let me know what you think about them leave a comment below and definitely share this with your friends. Also, if you don't wanna miss the next free effects tutorial, click on that blue R in the bottom corner and subscribe to our channel. We run on love and we definitely love each and every one of you. And that's all I have to share today. I hope to see you back real soon. I'm Final Cut Steph from RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching, bye.